All right then, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the next episode. Today we're gonna put in the plans. <laughs> we're gonna put into action the plans that we had for in the first episode, and we'll get to that very, very shortly when I am ready to do so. But first, I have quite a few uh, dailies that I have yet to complete, so I want to go ahead and uh, rush through that real quick. I wanted to uh, <clears throat> make a fun little cut to just having all the dailies done instantly, but I just realized you need to pay. Um, Slayer points to unlock Willy Slayer, so we're gonna have to do that. I barely have enough, 19 remaining, but Willy tasks give great Slayer points. Um, it helps me with the Slayer helmet boost while doing Willy shit. And I can get Laren's keys, so I think this is gonna be very useful. I need to do my uh, uh, the Elder Chaos Druid, so I wanna get a task for that, even though it's gonna be a little expensive with the way I cancel tasks on here, but. So be it, um, I think that is going to benefit quite a bit, just have to get it on the favorites. Alright, well since I don't have a level 30 teleport and no one was selling any, I decided to make a few myself, quite a few, because I was enjoying the AFK time. Uh, the reason I needed those is because I want to do my Revenant daily real quick to end it off, um, because it's pretty good, 379 house tabs, I have no idea how much they sell for, but yeah, get a little cursed emblem, a 200 mil price chest, and some Revenant Eva. If I can complete it, that's pretty good. Yeah, this is a really fucking long ass run without uh, agility courses. Definitely want to make sure you uh, have those. Definitely gonna try my agility later. Like, I, uh, I can use none at the moment, I have to walk all the fucking way around. There's no way to teleport to the level 40 entrance Eva. Well, level 50 in here for some reason, but the deep wildy one. Unfortunate. Oh shit, I just got a ninja impling drop. And from that I get a crest piece. I don't think crest piece 2 is that expensive. I'm also just now realizing how many dragon items these drop. Maybe magic note paper would have been nice. Or at the very least a looting bag could have came in handy right now, but I didn't know. But now I do for the next time. Would definitely be wise of me to bank and stuff, but such a long run. I have to run all the way back around ICBA. At least uh, do a little bit more. And then when I really have to, I'll go back, I guess. I think if you have the Amulet of Avarice, you would get all of them noted. You would get a skull. 10% of drop rate, though. Oh, they drop Cursed Emblem as well. That's interesting. Didn't know that. Drop uh, table was improved quite a bit from the last time I've ever killed these. Alright, didn't calculate this properly, but no one sells brews. Just no one. Goddamn. They're not very hard to get, but I'm gonna have to sacrifice a few crystal keys in hopes of getting some from here. You know, they're quite common normally. I uh, probably won't be able to tell if I get them. They're super stores, yeah, I can definitely get them from here. Let's hope that, that uh, there are some at the bottom of my bank by the time I open all these keys. Oh yeah, I definitely got some. 45, okay, that's not a lot, but you know, it's not even that bad. You get some coins and nice stuff, rune coins. We got a Wyvern Visage, that's definitely profit at 750 RC. It's something. <laughs> Let's open these last two too. 45 brews is not gonna last very long. Oh, there's 45 more. Okay, that's a little bit better. Alright, let's get started on the Mage Arena grind, shall we? You can find a bit more information here. You receive 200 plus tokens, you receive 5 per kill. I think this might not even be accurate anymore. I know it was buffed in a recent, uh, uh, recent update, but well, not super recent, but a little while ago. Let's go ahead and have a look at the shop. There's quite a few items we need. I think it is these ones. And then the Affinity set, probably? Have a look real quick. Mini games, Mage Arena. So. Yeah, these four items, Master Wand, Mage's Book, not even the Affinity items. It's the selves and stuff. Chunky amount of tokens, especially the Blessing at 25k, but I believe we can do it. And they drop the items as well, and if you get them as a drop, it also goes on your log. And then after we've done 250 kills, we'll also get go ahead and get the escapes done. And get that log for a cheeky 12 billion GP. I was about to make a very grave mistake with my setup. Um, what we actually want to use is not this particular item we're using right now. We want a Master Wand because that gives plus 50% damage against Mage Arena mobs. 75 mil, okay. The sacrifice I'm willing to make. 
that will give us a huge uh, damage buff and then we're gonna use fire wave because I don't have the search yet unfortunately that shit is 96 magic that I don't have yet but fire wave should be fine we're also definitely gonna go ahead and get a uh, uh, thingy yeah, I genuinely lost my train of thought completely. I definitely need to change what I'm using because I'm having one item too many. Guess I'll get rid of the Thermi ring. The lowest amount of magic damage. Yeah, I don't really have any good replacements anymore. But um, I was just looking over the update post from back then. Is Lunar tradable? Because if you do use Lunar, which it doesn't seem to be, you get it from an achievement or can you only buy it from the store? Well, if you use the set, you increase your magic tokens gained in the arena by plus one per piece worn. Three tokens a kill doesn't sound like much, but you're killing quite a few of these. 250 kills, that's 750 more tokens. I have some achievements unclaimed, including a mystery box, which I'll gladly sell off as well for a cheeky... 300 mil-ish, wow, it's pretty cheap. You know what, we'll open this one. Yeah, that wasn't worth it. Oh yeah, what I meant to say when I lost my train of thought there for a minute was uh, get a Slayer task for Battle Mages. Because that way we can uh, get potential Larynx keys and all of that stuff as well, which is very, very nice here. Oh wow, we got it right away. Let's make sure we prefer that task. I'm gonna extend it as well because I don't want to bank every five minutes. My tokens are increasing exponentially. The more you carry on, you the higher it goes. And if you're the highest one in the arena, I think you get an additional buff. Um, this other guy over here though, Mr. Iron Man, Group Iron Man even over there, is not looting all of his tokens, so sometimes they appear on the floor, and you know, I gladly will loot those even if it's a bit of effort, so... Gonna yeet some extra tokens from him, but I don't think that's a big problem, I mean, anyone else could do that in this situation, right? Yeah, the other guy left, now I have the most tokens and I get 15 per kill and all of a sudden. That is uh, quite the increase from what I was getting before that. You see. They also drop 50 tokens quite commonly, 1 in 6. Been seeing quite a few of those already. Adds up very quick. Look, another one on the floor right there. I was basically back to back. Because I started recording because I got one. Oh yeah, now the other guy is back. Yeah, that's a 10 token difference. For being the most tokens in the arena. Damn. Oh, just got a doubled 1000 token drop. That instantly puts me at the number one spot now. Damn. Just hope we don't get PK'd, haha. <laughs> Alright, there is our first task completed. 60 Slayer points, holy mother of god, that's a lot. Plus 8 for the streak that we currently have so far. It's a lot of Slayer points per task and we're gonna be doing quite a few of these. In that first task, we got lucky because of the 2000 magic token drop, but that brings our total to 3.5k. One Laren key, 925 blood money and a few shitty ones. No infinity pieces or anything, I think next time I'm going, now that I've you know, gotten a bit the hang of it, Gonna use an elixir pool so I can get the drop rate bonus, the automatically picking up coins, as well as the greed effect. And then also use experience token so I can get a bit more XP, as well as um, luck tokens. So we can increase our odds of seeing some loot a bit. Not a single real drop so far, but they aren't even that rare. Yeah, like 1 in 100 on average and stuff. We've done like 70-ish kills. 72. So, could definitely be a bit better if we use luck tokens. And I think if I uh, go ahead and not extend my tasks, so just get it normally, um, we can complete a lot more tasks. Bank a bit more often, sure, but that's fine, because that, that way we can uh, get rid of any items on us, bank the loot, grab new luck tokens and all of that stuff. I think that's a good idea. Hey, our first drop and then Infinity Bottoms, which is 75 room points, we'll gladly take that. I said first drop, but like first item piece kind of drop. Ooh, 5,000 blood money drop. That is literally money. And an Infinity Bottom right after, okay. See, Lux do make all the difference. Ooh, 1,000 magic tokens. I ran out of fucking air runes. Six skills left and I run out. That is unfortunate timing. Either way. Amazing task this time around, a bunch of tokens again, quite a few, and then oh, look at that looting bag, bunch of wands, not the great ones, but two infinity bottoms, gloves, two larynx keys, and 5.7k blood money. It's adding up nicely for sure. 
Oh, I got a mage's book. I think that is the first collection log slot, right? As I finished the task. Yeah, it is. Nice. Okay, great. One slot done. Yay. I also had an idea because, as you can see, these give a shitload of Slayer points, right? Every single time you complete a task. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and make a little investment of my Slayer points, because once again, I don't have much after the Slayer Unlock, the Wildy Slayer one. And buy the bracelet, I believe it's the Slaughter one, but the one that makes your tasks shorter. So we have to do less skills to finish the task. You know, less risk, because I bank more often, but also more Slayer points altogether, because I complete more tasks overall. Extending the first one wasn't smart at all, I need to do the opposite, complete as many as I can, because it will give us an absolute boatload of Slayer points and work towards those next Slayer helps. If we go to the Slayer shop here, I believe it's only 250. Chance for task kill to not count while slaying, and this is the one to count as double task kill while slaying. So it is this one we want, and it's 150 points, so it wasn't the slaughter. This one extends your Slayer task, this one shortens the task. And we want to make it shorter. Um, I do think that is a risked item. Wait. Fucking po poison protects over it. That is such a scam. If that is the case, I will go ahead and bring the thermal ring, because that will just become the fourth item then, I believe. I'm gonna drop the cursed hood over here. Now, I am not gonna waste the opportunity and loot it. Yeah. <laughs> because the cursed set actually has a really nice effect where it increases your magic attack speed by one tick if you have the full set equipped. Now the items aren't very expensive, they sell very cheap as a matter of fact. <laughs> no. And uh, yeah, if you have the full set, I mean, the problem is, although it's cheap, it's not sold often, so you know, I kind of want it. I got the top, now I got a hood that I yeeted from Ghostface, I'll give him an evil smiley face. And then uh, if we can get the bottoms as well, we'll have a full set, which might be quite nice. Just realized, what if you combine that with the Harmonized Staff? Would it increase your attack speed by two ticks? Wouldn't that make Fire Surge like fucking four ticks at that point? Or three ticks even? That's kinda nasty if you think about it. Ooh, now we're talking self Amulet. First decent sized drop, 500 rune coins value. And it also gives damage boost against undead. I don't know if we'll ever find a use for that, but it is very nice. Ooh, magical level up, but that did not give us a combat level, which is great. That's another Slayer task done. Extremely fast, way faster than the first two, because of the bracelet, and it helps quite a bit. And we still managed to see a decent amount of loot from all of that. Another like 1500-ish tokens, I bring 1500 in around that number every time. And uh, a random cursed hood that we looted, 500 blood money, and some rune coins, once again. Dupe Mage's book for the log, but... It adds up. Oh, fuck it, these are actually quite cheap. Let's just go ahead and buy those Slayer emblems as well for more drop rate bomb. Ooh, another juicy 2,000 tokens, boys. Oh, you'll love to see that one being doubled. Holy fuck. Hey, Master Wand. I do believe that is, in fact, the collection lock slot, right? I think the Master Wand is one of the items. Ooh, another Mage's Book. That's my fourth one. Yeah, the Master Wand is. So, Selfie isn't dropped by them. But I think the Book of Infinity and the Blessing are, if I'm not mistaken. Blessing for sure? Oh, the book is also not a log. Okay, okay, so you can't get it from drops. Now, if we can just get the Blessing, though, it's a one in a thousand drop. Definitely not the easiest one to get, but... Fingers crossed, I guess? Uh-oh, it's Gear Boy. How are we gonna get out of this one? Oh, I think I got him. I think that's gonna do the trick, and that's why we bring in Tangle, boys. Didn't TB me either. As long as I can make it inside with the mage bank in time. Ooh, a bit too close for comfort, but we got it. So I mentioned earlier that the cursed magic rope set has an effect of uh, increasing your attack speed by plus one when using magic. That's also what the guy who attacked me was using. I was just thinking, right? If I'm not mistaken, the harmonized staff doesn't have an attack level requirement, just magic and hit points. Which is pretty fucking great. I mean, that is assuming it's the same as old school RuneScape and they didn't add an unnecessary attack level here. I do not know for sure, but if that could be possible, if I could get my hands on 35 build to get that stuff, and then use full cursed on top of that, I would be able to fire search at 3 tick attack speed here. Wouldn't that be really good against PKs first and foremost? Because I would just be like a fucking... I was gonna say a rocket launcher, but that's not really accurate because those are quite slow. But basically be attacking at blowpipe speed, except it's 
with fucking fire surges, which are massively boosted on top of that. I wouldn't be able to use a Slayer Helm, but I don't think that's the end of the world, and I would risk a rope set, but they are pretty fucking cheap. Honestly, beginning here in the first place is pretty difficult. On low level accounts, you can only use magic in the arena here. So, people can't like HS you out and shit like that, or whatever spec weapons people use, right? So, you're already a lot safer, but then I could actually fight back using that. And also, just like 3, three tick attack speed against these fuckers, I would just destroy them. You would be so fast. It does give minus 15% damage though for some stupid reason, but even outside of that I don't think it matters too much. Ooh, another drop. Nice. And we'd have a look at everything we have collectively obtained after we finish 250 kills, which is only 8 more apparently. Well, I guess it's gonna be a bit longer, I'm not gonna bank unless I uh, finish the Slayer test, so it might be like 251, 252 kills depending. Ooh, and there's 5,000 blood money once again. The blood money stack going up quite high now, and closing in on 20k probably. That should sell for a chunky amount of GP. I can really use money right now. I got like 4 bill in the trading post, but nothing fucking sells. And a thousand magic tokens once again. Yeah, we're spooned here, boys. This is my place now. Fucking love it here. That's why I'm thinking about all these other ideas of how I could speed this up and make it even better. This is so fucking great. Like, I can't sell the tokens right now because we're going for the log, but if it wasn't, like, once I complete the log, I think I can make quite a bit of money here in this place. I mean, I already knew it was good room coins an hour, but that was from an Iron Man perspective. And there's the achievement, beautiful. We have uh, two kills to go, probably, if my bracelet procs at least once. Um, yeah. Damn, this is really good. It's, it's just really fucking good. I'll show you guys the loot when we get to the bank. Oh, and on top of that, Mayhem Coins, shit loads of them. Boat loads. Because <laughs> they're 100 HP each, which is 100 tokens each. Ah, the bracelet didn't go off, by the way. Gotta do 3 kills. The 250 3 kills in total is gonna be the loot we have so far, but I'm definitely gonna do more. Um, but yeah, all together, okay, let's just bang first and have a look at it. Alright, I think this about sums up what we've gotten so far. Quite a few magic tokens already, 12k, 23k blood money, the amulet. Just have a little price check of how much room coins it is. Um, although I'm a main account, I'm not gonna sell it because we need room coins. That's just the uh, simple truth here, unfortunately. So we're gonna save those up. But 3.1k already and 12k tokens. So obviously not quite enough, but for example, the self E is 10,000 tokens. So we could buy that, which would be an extra 1,000. Also 15% more damage against undead enemies. I kind of want to try an amulet like this against Orkaf, but I don't think we have that much other undead where it's worth using. Sadly, I do not believe Barrow Brothers count as undead. I think they're spirits, not ghosts, which ironically has a very thin line between being undead and never having died in the first place or some shit. These Lunar, however, 5,000 tokens, 4,500 and 3,500. Yeah, they're untradeable as well, so you don't lose it on death. Um... It's pretty good to be honest, but it would cost a chunky amount of tokens, maybe in the future. But I mean, if I bought these two at least, 9,500 tokens, it would increase my tokens per kill by two. I mean, it depends. If I want to really do like thousands of kills in the future, maybe that would be a good point to consider getting that. Okay, you know what? May as well buy the Salvi. It's not on the drop table. We can't get it and we need it for the log. And we need the Book of Infinity for another 5,000 tokens and the Infinity Blessing for 25,000. I kind of want to kill more to get the blessing because it's really expensive if I buy 25k tokens. But on the other hand, the reward is 3 crests, so yeah, it's probably better to just grind it out ourselves and save the money, honestly. For reference sake, half the tokens would cost me 2.7 bill. And then a little bit more because of the other offers are slightly higher. So a little over 5 bill to get the blessing potentially. I'll definitely grind out a bit of that for sure first, before I make such a commitment. But for now, let's go ahead and try selling the blood money, because it will probably take a little while. And I need the money. I actually ended up opening my bags of riches and it turned mostly into blood money. <laughs> 1 million GP and a few divine shots. But uh, they weren't selling, nothing is really selling at all. We need more main accounts in the game, guys. That way items can flow a bit more throughout the economy. That would be fucking fantastic. Getting real desperate for cash. I would really, really, really like to purchase a gosh darned Imbued Heart. Because it can boost my magic to 96 for Fire Surge. 
We have filled four so far. Six would bring us on raid, so can we please get one? Please? Oh, sad game. All right, boys, we're gonna hunt some wildy buses real quick to get all the capes we require. It's gonna be a bit of searching to find where the fuck they are. In a little while. I do believe they're all alive, so maybe he hasn't come around to this point yet. Like I should have seen him by now. Um, I might even do a few of the Zemi one just to try and get the Zemi staff eye. I think they're all pretty rare though, so I'll try, but probably not too committed to it. I had to claim the achievement in order to attack it. I didn't do that at home. So what the f Why is my character not attacking, guys? Alright. Not understanding what's happening right here. The f Attack. What? Is it bugged? Do not understand. I had to ask a mod, and apparently that Guthix one in, sp in particular is bugged to only be meleeable when it's spawned on that stupid green hill. Typical luck on my end, ain't it? Because I don't fucking have melee, that's not an option for me. So I'm gonna have to kindly ask someone else to kill it for me and then hope it respawns in one of the other spots, I guess. And in the meanwhile, I can do the Mage and... Uh, sorry, Mage, Ceredomin and Zemrock one, I guess. Yay, our first cape! Three of them at once. Incredible. Oh, that's instantly an upgrade going from uh, no percent to five percent. Wait, doesn't even work with the separate because <laughs> I'm using Zemi flames. Does it even work if I use charge now? It may say you're not wearing the right cape with the staff if I try. I'm not sure. Never done that before on this server. But uh, the reason we're using epics is obviously to increase our chance at spawning the uh, or enchanting it. <laughs> we need multiple attempts for that, probably. More likely than not, anyway. And then, um, of course, I want to increase my chance of seeing a staff drop, or even a pet would be cool, I guess. Just a nice little bonusy. Doesn't really do anything. Nah, you can totally use it, no problem. Oh, my Impling Daily is doubled once again, and I've been passively catching them along the way. Because why the fuck not, if I find some? So that's gonna be a very nice daily to get done. Maybe some more crest pieces from those ninja and dragon imps. That would be uh, really, really good as well. Except for piece number one, that one is for some reason stupid cheap. Probably because so many people do alchemical hydra for the uh, philosopher's claw dropped, right? And there is Zemi. What are the actual rates? Let's have a look real quick. The pet is 1 in 512. Wow, the stab is only 1 in 51. Kinda tempting to hunt it a little bit just to see if we can get a stab drop. Auto cast god spells and doesn't require runes. And it has 5% magic damage. Kind of a nice buff on what I already have. Now, there is a better option, technically speaking, which is the Toxic Staff of the Dead, because it would give Venom. It would give 10 or 15% magic damage, I believe. I think it's 15, right? I'll try not to die while looking this up. Real Sutarov, where are you? No, it's 10% probably. Unless the uh, other one boosts it by another 5%, I don't know. But, uh... Yeah, that would actually be nice for the time being, because Toxic Staff of the Dead requires 75 attack, and we're not getting that for a little while. Especially after this little Mage Arena grind. Realized I kind of want to do more of this, so staying a low combat for a little while is not a bad idea. And there we go, this man helped me out, but I finally hit on the end there. Oh, no staff on the first kill. Thank you, though. Three more capes. I definitely don't have the rune coins to enchant it right now, but well, maybe I can get it. Question mark? I think we should get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I'm completely out of food and everything. Oh, we got 100 implings and uh, unlocked Puro Puro. And the achievement. Oh, which is a donator inbox. Oh, ninja impling as well. Damn, we're getting everything. Still need the daily, so I gotta keep catching him. Oh, show us a crest piece tree. He sucked to catch without a fucking net, bro. I swear to god, it takes forever. Clicking for a minute already. Catch, 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 catch. There we go. What the fuck did I get from that? I wish it said in the chat, oh, you trapped the ninja and bling and got blah blah blah. That would be nice, I have no idea, maybe coins? Blood money? I uh, definitely got blood money, it's a guarantee. <laughs> Genuinely can't tell. Okay, 80,000 blood money sold. Which is 1.5 bill. God damn. 
bags of riches OP that probably made... Wait, why did I open that? Ah, I should have sold it. That may have made me more money than actually selling the bags of riches by themselves. Interesting. Um, I need to figure out how much uh, room coins we're actually gonna need per cape attempt and if we need anything else to see whether or not we can actually get our hands on this. Um, capes. 500 rune coins and 100 mil coins. That's not bad, but it's 10% per enchant attempt. Okay, let's try. We grab most of what we have gotten so far. We can get an accumulative, amazing, whopping, astounding. It's not gonna be that much. Uh, 3.2k rune coins. It's not even worth using glorious gems. I kind of need a ring of greed so I can increase my amounts for sure. But uh, yeah, can't really do much about it for now. Um, yeah, I guess I'll go ahead and uh, rune coin this as well. I mean, I could finish the tab even bigger, more loot, but I want to get a... Actually, okay, you know what? Before I do all of that, let's try a few attempts. Maybe I'll get it on the first try, because it's me we're talking about after all, you know? <laughs> if you know, you know. Right, Sarah Doman, bless me. Oh, Demarok? Oh, no one out of one. Oh, there we go. One out of two. Good enough for me. Didn't take too much. So, this cape will uh, allow us to switch it, which is very nice because I prefer Zami by far. And uh, it gives 7.5% magic bonus, so that is quite a massive upgrade. And you can switch your spell books with it 20 times a day. That's a nice bonus, I suppose. But 7.5% magic damage, quite a nice buff. We got all these capes that we don't need, but I still have to do the Gethix one. And I guess we don't have to sell our loot tab for the time being, which is a nice bonus, because I would have preferred stacking everything up until we're completely done with Majorine and then having an overarching look at it. Like, oh hey, I did a thousand, twenty five hundred, five thousand battle mages, whatever the amount would be. And this is everything I've gotten from that. I kind of like doing it that way. It is unfortunate though, because before this daily resets, it would be a very, very, very good idea to at least do my daily exchange. So 1.625 more, 7.25? So yeah, need a bit more for that. But uh, Implant Daily is almost done. Kinda wanna get that for the mini, but I have to go back into the wildy anyway. However, I kinda wanna buy an Imbue card. So even with 91 magic, expensive bro. Basically my entire cash tech for the time being, so but whatever, we need it. Because now we can boost, how much does it give at this level? <laughs> I hope it's enough. At least plus six. Oh, I'm only 90 at the moment. Oh, it gives plus nine. Okay, no fucking worries then. I can use my uh, fire surge then. No problem. I do need some ref roots though. Oh, let's go, boys. I had to go for a bit. Come back. The Gorse JMS and the Eve are both sold. That's another 1.4 bill ish. Close to. Very nice. Now we need to start off with buying some ref runes. Not that expensive. How much does 50k cost? Fuck my ass. What? <laughs> that is so expensive. Uh, I'm gonna just let it be for a while because these are not hard to obtain. You get them from a lot of sources. And I don't want to spend 750 mil when I'm this low on cash. I'll just uh, use them a bit more scarcely, you know? A bit more careful with it. I just do 400, I meant to do 4k. Okay, that's good enough. Yeah, that's a chunky amount of coins. Not sure what the next upgrade is gonna be, but we'll get to that when we get to it. A little while from now. And then we need the new cape. Chanta Zamora cape. Oh, so glad we got it this early. Barely cost any rune coins that way. Um, and then with this setup, we risk the imbued heart for some fucking reason. It bothers me so much. Thermonuclear ring and smoke battle staff go over the heart, which is significantly more valuable. It even has a higher rune coin value. Like, what is that based on, bro? Oh, well, it is what it is. Now I should be able to keep the heart. Yeah, we just gotta kill the stupid Guffix one, because otherwise we can't complete the collection lock. Oh, we got a cursed mystery box from catching a ninja ampling. That is really, really nice. We'll take that. We have encountered a lucky ampling, but neither of us can catch that son of a bitch. I'm not 95 hunter. Oh, that's such a shame, ain't it? See, that's why I needed to get 99. It's in the same fucking spot, bro. This game is so unfair sometimes. Why does its why is its melee range this stupidly big? I have no idea if this shit works on Runex at all, but we're gonna try. I, I got my buddy to kill it. 
just like last time to get it out of the bugged spot, but so maybe try and get it low HP, I'll try punching it to death, and he logs out in the meanwhile. Maybe it counts as my kill that way, I do not know for sure, but either way, it will respawn and I can hopefully get it then, or I just get the kill, I don't know. Isn't this peak Runex content right here? <laughs> now he has to make a run for it and log out and hopefully I can kill this 6 HP. But great. Yeah, this isn't working, I can't hit. It's way too high def. Maybe if he had poisoned or venomed it, maybe that could have worked, but just get it dead, it will respawn and I'll find it somehow, some way. <sighs> it just sucks, why does it have to be bugged? Why isn't that fixed? If, if mods know that it's bugged, why can't that be fixed already, please? annoying little tiny things, you know. I know it, it generally speaking this wouldn't be a big deal for 99% of the people doing capes, but at the same time, if it's a known thing, you know, hopefully it gets fixed in the near future, and if not, hopefully because of this video, that's fine with me as well. Just a bit of a pain. Now we have to do such an annoying workaround to get it done, you know. At least we have some imp openings to look forward to in the meanwhile. Shitty ones first. Ring of Wells? That's not bad. Ninjas. Unlucky. Never lucky. I mean, Xenite Bolts E ain't the worst, but not great, for sure. Oh yeah, and two sack of tokens. 150 Katas, not bad. Still super low on uh, Epic Lux, though. <laughs> I've used two now on the capes, but nothing else. And uh, we only have 33. It's a Christmas miracle. Look at that, boys. It is finally... Finally in a spot where I can actually kill it. Ah, alright, let's finally finish this shit. And hit on it, damn. Zero's galore. Fucking tanky is this thing. <laughs> My homie brought a Draco Warhammer to lower the defense for me real quick. I just can't hit shit, bro, and it's magic attacks. You can't predict it and it hits like a fucking truck. And every time I have to brew, I have to fucking relock to get my heart back, otherwise I can't cast Fire Search, because I'm not actually 96 Mage, remember? This was one of the most difficult bosses I've ever done in my life, I'm not gonna lie, this, this was a fucking challenge all with all, but I think we're done, there we go, Guff Escape, yay! Now we just need to finish the tokens. Now. Join me on this journey where we walk all the way to level 20, will he fucking kill me? Ugh, finally made it out. So, if we look at our log now, the only thing that we require is a blessing and a bug 35k tokens if I don't get the blessing by the time I get 35k tokens. Otherwise, uh, we'll complete it that way, but one way or another, we're getting this done in this goddamn episode. Right, so I've been asking around a bit, and I think my buddy oh, is a full set. Of course, he wants to give it to me, but I don't want to do that. I just wanted to know if he had a cursed rope bottom I could buy from him, so give me one second. Alright, gonna overpay it a bit. It's normally like 30, 40 mil, and lots of people probably have one, but I'll pay 50 mil for it just to have it. Thank you very much. And I kind of want to try it, because we're using a normal Slayer Helm, it's not that great. I want to see how does it compare, you know, 15% uh, damage boost from the Slayer Helm, or a whole attack speed increase. I mean, I will lose 2 max hits from the decorative armor, but I think it's got to be worth it personally. I want to give it a try at least. I also got to keep selling my votes, because honestly... I need the money more than anything right now, and you know, there are achievements like opening crystal keys, brimstone keys, larynx keys, uh, spending votes, all of that stuff, irrelevant right now. <laughs> We're not even close to comping yet anyway, and we can just get it once we get closer, you know, once we're rich enough, where spending some money on that wouldn't matter as much. This is the setup we're gonna use, well, I, I was gonna show it on the dummy, but it, you know, it won't give the plus one attack thingy. Sadly, can't use the ring, because it would protect over the imbued heart. That's such a low protection value, but it is what it is. At least the ropes don't go over. So, uh, yeah. Can't attack, because I'm not 96 mage, but now I am. And apparently the max is a 56, as it is currently. And wieldy, plus one max hit, make quite a difference. Ooh, the Crest Piece 2 actually ended up selling 900 mil as well right there. Right, let's go back to the mage arena and finish the achievement. Not achievement collection log. Right, this is probably worth mentioning, but I also locked my XP. You can do that with uh, XP lock, I believe, or lock XP, one or the other. Um, 
and it makes it so you no longer gain XP, very obvious, right? Uh, reason I'm doing that is because I don't want my stats to go up right now, I want to stay 72 combat while I continue killing these. Hopefully we can see some more nice loot, I would be really happy about a uh, blessing as a drop, that would save quite a bit of cash, we would make more from that obviously. Um, I don't even know what item is like the best to buy in terms of token to like rune coins slash profit rate. Honestly, selling the tokens actually is probably the most profit. Just get the log and sell everything else.